Bonjour everyone, I am Yan, your favorite friendly Frenchman, and welcome back to another episode of Lost and Random. So, we're finally at Sixtopia, or as I call it, It's a Small World, because it really looks like the facade of uh, It's a Small World, or at least in Paris. I know the ones in America are more white, but hey, whatever, who cares? Uh, the thing I wanted to do before we get into Sixtopia is that we have to uh, redo our deck a little bit. Uh, so, this we do not need, this we do not need. What we do need is another triple bomb. And what we also need... So I was going to say a hammer, but a hammer is not right. I cannot use those for some reason. Uh, what if we put a single bomb? Would that be good? Shadowman's touch also is not very useful, in my opinion. So what do we have? We have two hammers, we have two elf elixir. Right, uh, speaking of, I have another big elf elixir. So let's put that, and we have one final card. So health elixir, triple bombs, super draw. Um, unfortunately, we only have one rule master's bow. Uh, dice wielder spoon. Why don't we put? The, the crystal curse is kind of good. But do I want to keep? Yeah, I. I guess I do. Or maybe we want that. Nah. Um. Now that we have this six. This might be interesting. So let's get the high roller card. There we go. Okay, let's go, guys. The dread I've been feeling, it's gone. I don't know. Something's still missing. But Dicey, I know. Whoa. Hey, finish it's your sentence. Like anything I've seen before. It looks like it's a small world. Oh. Give me what? Something tells me that, like, it's a small world. It's okay, an absolute facade. This. this doesn't look right, but it's got to be the place. The Grand Gate to Sixtopia. Yeah, something tells me that it's not going to be uh, as colorful as it seems to be. It's going to be super dark inside. Let's bet, actually. Don't know what, but let's bet. Huh? What? What happened here? I knew I don't it. Understand? Is this really it? Maybe this is like a fake Sixtopia, meant to confuse invaders or something. <laughs> no, Sixtopia is just the Queen's lair. I don't believe this. Sixtopia is supposed to be this whole wondrous place that grown-ups have been telling us about since the day we were born, and it's fake. It's all a lie. Looks like it is. What is going on? None of this makes sense. Uh oh. <gasps> What's in this big hole? I don't know, but I don't want to get in the big hole. Oh, what mischief have you gotten yourself into this time? You? Now? Who are you? Good morning, lovelies. Good morning, Charles. Why don't you look handsome today? <laughs> oh, he 
heck, I'm just the same old man I always was, but bless your heart for lying, lovelies. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, you're here too, Albert. Hey, ugly. I'm a big, stupid cardboard person, and I'm Charles' least favorite because I'm a mean, stupid idiot who falls apart all the time. Yes, yes, Albert. We're all familiar with your whole deal. Excuse me, uh, Charles? He's gonna freak out. What's going on out here? Ha ha ha! We've been here wait, 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 for wait, wait, 60 wait, 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 wait. years. You ought to know what's going on by now. Yeah, what gives? <laughs> Though, of course, not much actually does go on here. <laughs> you stand around and I fix you when you fall apart. Easy. Easy peasy. You're using your beard as a mop, man. Uh, I'm I'm not a court bird cut out. I'm a real girl. Of course you are, obviously. You're all real here. Charles, until I arrived, you were the only person here. No, we're real. If we were fake, could my head fall off all the time? Oh, no, no, no! Don't you dare, Albert! I've had enough of that for today by far! No, I mean I'm real, but everything else here except you is fake. Oh, what do you mean I'm not real? Oh, now look what you've done! You've hurt Bedelia's feelings! There, there, Bedelia. Oh, she says mean things. I know, I know, I'm gonna talk to her about it, okay? But you're real. We're all real here. You're alone? Alone? Ha! I'm surrounded by friends here. <laughs> There's Bedelia, Claude, Claude 2, Snugglebuns, 8-Ball, Big Tony, Middle Tony, Average Tony, the hated Albert. <laughs> Boingy Boingy, Peanut Butter and Jam, they're twins. <laughs> Don, Donner, Donist, Don Ultimate, Don Penultimate, Don Ultra Penult, Don... Well, That's... I don't need to tell you their names. We've all been here forever. <laughs> sure. Can you tell me your earliest memory? You, you, you don't talk like the others, do you? No, I don't. She sure doesn't. Should we be suspicious, Charles? I'm very suspicious. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine to be curious, lovelies. Eh? Yeah, my earliest memory. Hmm. It's when my head first fell off, 40 years ago. <sighs> no, it's when me and Pancakes got married. Fifty years ago. <laughs> no. No. It was when I was young. Just... Just a child, really. The nanny came for me in that... That, that chariot that walked like a spider. She dropped me here. Told me my only task in life was to take care of these props. She said my fate was never to be anything more than a forgotten janitor. And then she disappeared. And she never came back. And all I've done for every day of my life since then was live here alone. So profoundly alone. Surrounded only by these... These parodies of life mocking me every hour of every day with their ageless faces and painted on smiles and I... <laughs> <laughs> or so I thought. But then five years into it, y'all started talking to me and you've never stopped since. <laughs> and now you're an old man surrounded by friends who'll never die. Ha <laughs> ha, sure am, lovelies. <laughs> Ain't that a blessing? <laughs> Why, I must be the luckiest guy in the whole world. Woohoo! <laughs> That is really, really, really sad. Has the nanny ever come back? The nanny? No, not in any way that counts. That's true. 
Her chariot goes by sometimes, but it only goes up to the tower up there. We hear nothing. How can they be so quiet? They're enjoying quiet, fun times, Albert, and that's all I will hear on the subject. Children, my sister was taken too. Then she's playing up in the tower all day long. How lucky. <laughs> uh, wait. Why would the Queen want the nanny to take one of us cardboard cutouts? It's never happened before. Maybe she isn't really a cardboard cutout like us. <laughs> no, she is. She's just lost her mind, that's all. I'm humoring her, see? <laughs> Tell me about your sister, lovely. <laughs> her name is Odd, and I'm going to save her. Now, lovely, I learned long ago it's best not to make promises to yourself you can't keep. Now, where have I heard that name before? Oh, yes! Odd! The Queen graced us with her presence not too long past, and she had a girl with her. Odd, she called her. She wore a white mask, I remember. She looked strange. Strangely happy, yes, as <laughs> are we all. <laughs> yeah, we're all. They didn't so... have time to acknowledge any of yeah. us, of course. She's very busy, but sure. they went out that way, right through there. Thanks for the help, um, everyone. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. We all say thanks, don't we? We sure do. It's nice to get company. It's nice to see a new face. It's nice to be remembered at all. And hey, say hi to the queen for me. <laughs> I sure will. Remind her I'm here. I'm still here. I will avenge you. Very well. Ah, uh, that's more horrible. like it. The glossy is made out of, uh, I don't know, there. D don't. This Whoa. must be it. The tower. What's inside there, Dicey? I can just feel it. She has to be. We've come so far, haven't we? But Manny. I still don't know for sure what you want me to do. Never fall down when you've built it with Manny's help. Actually, that might be the last time we get to see Manny, so let's have a chat with him. Oh, I've got... <sighs> Cards on the table. This is a bit outside my normal rounds, and not at all what I was expecting. But now you're here, and Manny Dex is playing the sympathy card. You've got to buy something, mate. Please! Me, the Queen. Shh, mate, the card. <clears throat> What's that, mate? You want to trade cards? Don't mind if I do. You never know who's listening, mate. Now, let's trade and forget all about any treasonous thoughts, eh? Uh-huh. Well, Manny, it's been good knowing you. But it's time, high time, I saved my sister.
<laughs> Almost died here. So. Where's that crystal in the middle? No, not this. Ah. One. Not on my watch. So, as I was saying, boom. Oh, that's a health thing. Right. Okay, so I can definitely get in there. This thing is so abrupt, but hey, whatever. Oh, there's a book up there. Hopefully we can get to it from here. Manny, you're here again. Wait. What the? Okay. Wait, so... Okay, so that's not here, I think. I'm not sure. Everything looks the same around here. Uh-oh. Kablam! Bye-bye! Uh-oh. Uh, 
Okay, so we've got a four. Nice shot. Thanks, buddy. Oh. My turn. Crystal. Five, nice. What? I cannot wet that. Well, I don't want it to be for nothing, so... Make some progress. Wait, first. Did a path open over there? Yes, I think so. So, the eighth. Oh, my God. In her victory, the queen fractured the world into six isolated fragments. One for each side of her one true dice. And there was a new rule imposed. Every child, upon reaching the age of 12, would roll her dice to see which district they'd move to. It was fair and just. The law of one dice instead of the chaos of many. But there was more to the story. A secret known only to a few. Uh-oh. I wonder what's going on with this dice. Ghost. <laughs> I'm trying to go wherever I can go. Oh, so not, not here, essentially. <laughs> There's gonna be a jump scare. I feel it. Oh. Don't fall, don't fall. Don't fall, no. It's the sudden stop at the end that I'm worried about, Dicey.
I feel it too, Dicey. You get close to it, and it's like every bone in your body is warning you to keep away. It's the goo. Almost like it's living, or used to be alive. A lot of people down there. Well, I've got cars to trade. Don't you want to follow suit? I know you do. <laughs> Yep, no going back. Aha, there's a book over there. So, which the ninth? And the children who rolled up. The headmaster showed no mercy, and the black dice hung, pushed into endless slop. Cries echoed through rap, until their very dreams were stolen. No hope was found. Okay, let's try to fill that. So, and the child. Hey, I was reading that. Okay, well, you can fill that yourself, <laughs> I guess. But that was freaky. But I can do plenty with that. And... Blam! Hey, do you mind? I'm charging my thing! Do it first. Wait, come back, you coward. Wait, there's more over here. Ah, that's where I come from, that's why. <laughs> Bombs. 
only thing I'm not a fan of in this game is that sort of sudden stop uh, at the end of each fight when you get an item or something. That's my only real complaint. Is that you? <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh my. Seymour? <gasps> Seymour! <laughs> is he. <laughs> You're alive! <laughs> oh, is that you even? I was just dressing my eyes. Yeah, sure. Seymour, your eyes. They didn't meet with me care about a number. They just took all three. I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait, we have one eye. No, even you can't. There's too many. You'll never be able to. Why do you Never will see. Can't you. believe it. <laughs> One. Damn it. Sorry, Seymour. what I needed. Close your eyes. <laughs> right, so, as I was saying, can get up here. How does that feel? You! Stop running, you coward! Come back here!
get up. Nice. And just like the others, you're gonna perish. Okay. As I say, pretty abrupt. But that's okay. That's totally even okay. Tougher than I knew, even. What happened to you? Uh, Nanny Fortuna happened to me, I'm afraid. She caught me in Forberg. Captured me, tried to get me to talk about you. But I didn't tell them anything, even. Told them my name was Seymour, not Talkmore. <laughs> that's when... That's when she started taking my eyes. But what about you, Even? I, I thought you were going home. W what made you change your mind? I realized... Realized what? That the Queen's hold has been suffocating this world. And now, I aim to break it. That's the spirit, even. The Queen. She's more powerful than you think. And from what I've overheard, your sister has changed. She won't be what you expect. Oh, I'm sorry, even. About all of this, we adults messed up the world and somehow it's been left to you to fix. A child sent to face off against the most twisted and dangerous being and random and it, it's not right i'm sorry i can't stop you even and i'm sorry i can't help there's always hope seymour there is whatever's happened to your sister i, I don't think it's gone all the way yet <laughs> just be careful there's nothing i can do to help you now Especially, given my, uh, current condition. You know, a guy called the Visionary gave me this magic eyeball. Oh. Oh! 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 Thank you. Now, all we have to do is survive Nanny, and the Queen, and her minions, and we'll fix everything. Let's go! Hey, whoa. Seymour, you're... you're in no condition to fight. You need to rest. I can't let you do it alone. Yes, you can. I'm not alone. And I'm not alone, yes. Seymour, when this is all over, there will always be a place for you in one town. I'd, uh... I'd like that, even. Dice slice. Not that it will matter. Anyway, so up there was the big gate, so we don't need that. However, what's over there? I'm, I'm supposed to find someone here. I, I don't know, Dicey, but I know they're here somewhere. I did what I did for the rebellion. I regret none of it. Which rebellion? The glorious rebellion of Four Town against the Queen in the No Dice War, of course. True, I was captured, but you cannot kill an idea. Forberg will be victorious. Villainy can never triumph. That is very true. So you were from the original Four Town then? The original? What do you mean, the original? Tell me, what became of Four Town? Um, the original city, it's gone. I'm sorry, it's now called Forberg. No, it's not possible. I, I don't... I can't... Forberg? And what of her people? There's a new city built on the ruins. 
Ah, you see, the city may be gone, but the spirit is thriving. Just as I may be rotting here in jail, but the rebellion lives on. Yeah. Even though my city may no longer stand, its ideals always will. Huzzah! Huzzah, I say! Huzzah, yeah. You can imprison my body, but not my spirit. Oh, she was almost there. Almost there. Wait. Hail, kind soul, and well met. I'm a lost traveler from a distant land. You'll never break the spirit of the rebellion. Never. Uh, I seem to have this taken was not what was west. supposed to happen. You haven't seen it, have you? This isn't what happens next, you know. Who are you? You are in the presence of the narrator of the Queen herself. Ah. Show some respect, child. The Queen imprisoned her own narrator. The Queen desires control. More than that, she desires not to be controlled. She reached a point where she thought I was controlling her. But you just narrate what she does. You're smarter than you look, child. Yes, that is true. But I could not convince her of that fact. So wait. Stories take us places. All of us. Even narrators. And my place, it would seem, is in prison. Where I can narrate only myself. This was not what was supposed to happen. So, something that's interesting is that we have a narrator. The queen had a narrator. We have a dice. She has As a dice. Days bled into the months, only dice, actually. And then into years, so, something tells me that no one could history is repeating itself now, somehow. Least of all, me. Oh, by here. Is there something I can... No, okay. And the narrator was supposed to be imprisoned, right? So... One thing was certain. Her story had taken a very dark turn. The Queen, in her wisdom, was right to put me in here. Restore the bar. Stay for painted. It took her away. Near the boy. A voiker. Held on the data ball. Even's narrator was so close. She just had to keep looking. Some part of Even knew her narrator was close. Even and her narrator were almost reunited. Right, you're up there. She was so close. She was so Hello, dramatically Even. close. Oh. You remember me? For I remember you. I do. And yet you were the one who approached me. You're probably wondering why I'm here and not out there picking do, my yeah. teeth with the bones of the disobedient. So what's the story I here? I suppose it makes no difference to tell you. The Queen hired me all those years ago to kill that meddlesome king of freedom and of to course. start their war. See, I knew it. I figured she was involved. What can I say? Our interests aligned. Uh-huh. The Queen wanted to ensure his children would tear each other apart in the years and decades to come. And they did. I gave the Queen her endless war. I did brilliant work. Oh, but she played even me, you see. She promised me the people would fear the Shadow Man beyond reason. But they didn't. My rule was kept secret. And instead, they grew to fear war, their own deaths. And when I finally had enough, when I finally threatened to reveal the truth to everyone, well, here I am. I pity you, you know. You never amount into anything, and you never will. Nah, let's not say that, that's harsh. Let's just leave. 
Bye, Shadow Man. So. I know the narrator is up over there, but I kind of want to uh, check if there is no other book. So this is making... This place is amazed. Okay, let's just go to the narrator. Something tells me that if there's a book, we'll see it. Right? Right. <laughs> friend. Thank you for the rescue. Now, I can get back to my job of narrating. <clears throat> the narrator said, narratively. <laughs> Who are you? I mean, weird. Yeah, it's uh, you. There you are. Whoa, 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 wait. You can hear me? I guess. Yeah, this is new and yet it isn't. This is unprecedented. Ooh, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Right. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, little one. It was hard being alone. I felt like half a person, if that makes sense. I felt your absence. <laughs> it would be strange if you didn't. I am your narrator, after all. Sure. Oh, but it is nice to know when one's work is appreciated. But you can hear me now, and we should make the most of that while we can. One never knows how long it will be until the old authorities reassert themselves. We've got a quest to finish, my friend, and I stand ready to describe it if you stand ready to live it. I am. Let's end this once and for all. Let's. Now then, where were we? <clears throat> ah, yes. A girl, her dice, and her narrator were reunited at last. Behind them, the wreckage of all that had stood in their way. Ahead of them, the queen and her minions. Even squared her shoulders and strode forward toward her destiny. <laughs> Oh, I thank you. Let's go then. And you. You have to get me out of here. <laughs> I'm a unicorn. <laughs> a real life unicorn. The palace courtyard. Sure. This used to be a beautiful palace. A place of learning. Of magic, of... Ooh. Oh, yes, Dicey. It was also a place of dice. Halls that once echoed with the laughter of children were now still empty and desolate. All bets are off when you've got a new card from old Manny Dex. Oh, right. Except for even and her amazing friend Dicey, who was... Uh, great, did you say? Who was, and I quote, great and awesome to the max. So, don't mind me, I'm trying to find the last book, really. Right, I'm running in circles. Here, yeah, mate, this trade card. No, Manny, sorry. I feel like it's my sole purpose in life. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. Let's do this. Just a 
one. Come on. I can save that though. Having really nice throws right now, but hey, that's okay. Notice how those guys move like uh, pawns on the chessboard. I just realized that. Bomb him then. that well it's not so bad really Like when it goes boom, boom. <laughs> I said, me likey when it goes boomba. <laughs> Love it. The dark crystals had appeared in the same age as the castle's fall. Ah. They were not the cause of this destruction, merely an effect of it. Ah. Something 
much darker here. Way to creep us out, Mr. Narrator. Still looking for the final book. The remains of the castle were quiet, almost serene. But within them still dwelled a great power. Here goes nothing, Dicey. Point taken. Here goes everything. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good. <gasps> Look at this place. It is stunning. And it's been lived in recently. We're not alone here, Dicey. We have to find a key. And the key seems to be downstairs. Uh, not only downstairs, but all the way down. <laughs> uh oh. Whoa, she has a fleet of these things. That's concerning. Very much so. Wait, Nanny Fortuna was coming. Quick, hide! Now, now! Hurry up, we you scrumptious little children! What does scrumptious mean, miss? It means keep walking and stop asking questions! The one with ice does not like to wait! Where did I put the key? Not again! That key's gotta be here somewhere. The key even was looking for. She just knew it had to be here somewhere. Ugh, not your most helpful narration, bruv. <laughs> you just bruvd him, okay. Up. up and 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 up Manny, I didn't even realize you were there. Oi, oi. Lucky to get an invincibility potion, are you? We nah. come to the wrong place. Okay. Here we go. Here All we go. Need was to climb the terrifying upper tower and face our destiny. Yeah, you're not in any danger here. Well, even, do you know what happens to a narrator if the person they're narrating dies? Uh, no. Me neither. Oh, but I'm sure it's not good. Fuck it. Ah, uh, not those guys. Got lots of boom booms, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna like this a lot. <laughs> yeah. Ouch.
Oh, really? Oh, well. Okay, what now? Okay, that's good. Let's put it over here. Okay, so, first of all, thank you, second of all, thank you, third of all, thank you. Yeah, the high roller card is pretty OP when you think about it. Big Boomba! Me likey Big Boomba! Come on. And... Big Boomba indeed! Hell yeah. That's badass, man. Alright, let's go up. See, that's what I'm saying. The similarities doesn't... stop there. Two royal girls. Princesses, the two of them were the exact same ages as even and odd. Those masks. Uh, yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. There's something going on. We're repeating the past or something. Wait. Oh, this is the th the throne room. Let let me see something. How long is the recording? Yeah, okay. Let me do a quick quick cut, okay? There. Promised you it was quick, right? The queen's throne. It is from here that the queen rules the fate of random with the roll of her dice. But where was she now? This was it. The point of no return. 
Whatever the end was, Even and Dicey were going to meet it. Listen, Dicey, whatever happens next, I just want you to know. Look, I'm I'm not too good with uh feelings and stuff, but I just want to say I've never become best friends with someone faster, and we've saved each other's lives countless times. And uh, well, thank you, Dicey, for everything. <laughs> right back at you, bud. Now, let's go kick that queen's evil butt together. Oh, we can say butt. Okay, butt, 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 butt. <laughs> That's right. I was saying rear end, but butt does work. Oh, that's the big dice. Hiding, hiding. Is uh, is over here good? Pod. Now then, children, inside that black dice is your ultimate destiny. Uh oh. Well, if it isn't the one from one town, even was it? Poor girl, you've marched all this way alone, only to find your own end waiting for you. Okay. I'm not alone, Nanny, and it seems to me that the only end I've been marching towards is yours. <laughs> nice. Such impudence of demands, punishment. Round two, fight. Right, crystals, people. Give me crystals. Come on. Uh oh. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, free. That's not too bad. That's actually pretty good. Considering I've got this, so first of all, second of all, and now let's do big bomba. Ha ha ha! Yes. Get them crystals. Screaming, moaning, hurting, dying, Nanny's gonna end you without even trying. Not too bad. Let's put one of those here. Get the hammer to finish this guy off. And kablam! Ah, no, it's electrified or something. Well then, this is how we do it.
need another bomb. Perfecto. And keep blam. Not what I wanted to do, but Get those bombs in. Just in case, let's put the pad here and the bombs here. I suppose it is one's lot in life when one is a nanny to suffer doing someone else's hard work while they reap all the benefits. <coughs> Eventually, everyone leaves you behind, don't they? And any love they held for you is Temporary, transactional. <coughs> I'm supposed to feel sorry for you. You tortured Seymour. I'm not gonna say that. Bye. Well, guys, let's enter the black dice. Reassuring, but okay. Those poor children. It's it's so much worse than I than I. Is the black goo coming from their heads, their brains? The black dice is mining those poor children. For their nightmares, What's their darkest that over dreads, here? their most agonizing miseries, coalescing them into the dark fuel. 
The robots. The dark twisting of the arenas. All of it. It's all powered by those helpless kids. Nightmares. There are few things more powerful than unbridled fear. This place, it, uh, it feeds on it. It's a sacrifice. We know this one, but I don't remember who is... What his name is, but... lucky, isn't it? That is her! She's still alive! Oh, then Arch didn't kill her after all. She might not be as far gone as I thought. Oh, Odd. I hope you're okay. Oh, masters of the one true dice, have my sacrifice has not been ample. Have you not long feasted on paranoia, bitterness, fear itself? Wow. Okay. Creepy. Very creepy. Are you not satisfied? Have I not been good to you, my three lords? Since that first Guess we're doing this. Your summoning. <sighs> you have given me power over randomness since we first began our exchange. And we have both found it profitable. But I have no heir, and I cannot let this great work falter. I beg you for just one more boon. Just a taste of your power. Those floating heads looks like I the wish to share my dominion over chance itself with my successor. Just as I once did to you, this child has proven herself. She will please you, just as I have. She will keep up my end of the bargain, so that you can keep up yours. Yeah, they look like the the guy, the 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 floating my potato dark thing. Lords, I beseech you. Let my power be shared, and I swear that two souls shall then worship you evermore. Manny, what the hell? Right, I have no idea how I got here either. But you're here, I'm here, and no matter how the cards are stacked, we still have hope. And the chance to do some business. This isn't t the time for idle chit chat, Manny. Let's trade. Now then, let's get to it, shall we, matey? <laughs> right. I kind of want to buy a lot of cards just to see if I can get any new things. No, I cannot. Right. No, I cannot. Okay. Well, nice knowing you, Manny. Oh, time for it. Step forward. There's no more time to prepare. Your fate is arriving now! No! Oh, don't do it! What? You! I fought across your entire twisted realm to stop you and to save my sister. And that's what I'm gonna do. Come on, Odd. We need to get out of here. Nobody's being held here, foolish even. Odd's free to go, if she chooses. So I should go with you now, even. Because why? You finally deigned to come see me? No, Odd, it wasn't like that. You need to... To what? To understand that my little sister, the one who's always had it so easy her entire one life, now thinks she knows what's best for me? Odd. Or maybe you're just jealous that I've grown up and of the power I'm about to receive. Is that it? She chose me, even. It is sad to see such pettiness embodied in someone so young. She's standing between you and your power. And remind me, Odd, what do we do to those who stand in our way? No. We destroy them, my queen. 
been so young, far too young to see that none of this is about what you want. <sighs> okay, this is it. Oh, cool balls. Really? She cannot move in the dice mansion? Well, the queen can. Stop it! It's me! Oh, I know precisely who I'm. one or the other. I guess this one makes more sense. No, she's not. Okay, nice. Use this. Put this here. Odd, please listen to me. You never knew when to shut up. Ad. Ad's not here, sure. No problem. This is easier than I thought. Easier than I thought. What do you even mean? You're losing right now. Right, so when I enter the dice mansion, she's not here. Oh, I know. Soon I'll be so powerful that. 
that I don't have to do anything. That's it. Disappointing. Perhaps I chose the wrong sister after all. Okay. Odd. Even. I'm so sorry. How about everything? No, I'm sorry. That that mask, I I became so petty, so afraid, and oh, oh even I hated myself. No, 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 Odd. I love you. I love you no matter what. Even. I'm Weaker without her, like everything good and strong in me is. <sighs> we'll help you, Odd. I've got some help. What is Odd, this? Run! Stop right there, you betrayer! Even hold on. A secret passageway. What How the? did you? It's one of the Queen's secret passageways. All I know is she hated me poking around it. You can't then I say it's our best chance. Let's go. Your story ends here, you urchins. Come on, Odd. I offered you a kingdom and you chose the dirt. Come back here, you wretches. Oh yeah, that's the last that's a big area now. What's going on here? Who is that? I don't know, the queen never Don't touch her! Who is this? Why are you holding her captive? It's your sister, isn't it? The one I was to replace. She looks so sad, frozen at the moment of her death. You know nothing! Nothing! This is none of your business, and neither is that boss! Now do you finally seek what happens when you embrace randomness? You die! Oh. 
Oh, so I'm sure that Dicey is actually the dice of her sister. Or I at least would make sense. Always protect her, you fool. I'll never allow you or any other agents of randomness to hurt my sister. I'm not trying to hurt her, I'm trying to liberate her. And I won't let you! Uh-oh, uh-oh. No, 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 no. That's not good. Whatever it is. How can you hope to win? One unexpected random element, a one and Now do you finally see what happens when you embrace randomness? You die! I'm not ruining everything you are. when you embrace randomness, you die! Trying to hurt her. Let's finish this. The world begs to be controlled, even. It must be yoked to a purpose. Otherwise, all that's left is random. Can you hope to win? One unexpected random element, a one and nobody! This is the end with the Boom Boom! We like the Boom Boom! Sure, so what? Your dice is dying with No It it can't be I knew it. Let me freeze time for you again, Nat. 
You have to. You'll die out here. Uh, Alexandra? You need to listen to me. You... you've changed so much. No, I, I'm still your sister. Can't you see? I'm still protecting you, no matter what it costs. You have to let her go. No, no! I won't let you die! If she dies, then I've failed. Then all of this was futile. This whole world can burn for all I can, as long as she lives! <coughs> <coughs> Alexandria, I... I'm not worth it. Shh, don't say that. Of course you are. I love you. I love you. Please. It hurts. It hurts all the time. Even when time stops, it still... <laughs> Let me go, sis. I, I can't wait for you here, but I promise I'll wait for you there. No, don't. Don't. We'll play again, okay? Just you and me. Natalia! Just you and me. Nothing! Dark Lord, please, you can't hurt me now, don't you see? You think I'm afraid of dying? Go, this is my fight. Alexandra. You've saved Random. That's plenty. Only I can save myself. Onward. Goodbye. Well... Let's run for it! Ouch! <laughs> We're gonna be too heavy, but here goes nothing. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. <laughs> Well, there we go! Oh my god! That was kind of abrupt, but okay, sure. So there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play. This was one of a kind, huh? One of a kind. <sighs> Last in Random. That was such an amazing game, man. Such an amazing game. Um, I loved everything about this game. Except maybe the a little abrupt transitions when there were loading screens and uh, and uh, at the end of fights as well. However, everything else in this game was absolutely amazing. Like the art direction is obviously the big highlight of this game. 
the story is amazing, uh, really accessible, really dark, really Bertonian in, in a way, and uh, I, I absolutely love it. So, yeah, honestly, usually when uh, the credits roll out, well, usually, not usually, like, it's only been uh, a few games that I've ended, that I've finished, sorry. Uh, on my channel so far, but uh, I usually complain about the game, but the, not not here, not here. And uh, yeah, I've actually really, really liked this game. Uh, it's uh, definitely a, a highlight for me. It's uh, it's a really, really beautiful game, and uh, you can see all of Red Mom a little bit everywhere uh, because he's done a lot, and I'm actually following him. Actually, if you uh, want to follow him, his Twitter and Instagram is uh, all of R. So uh, yeah, I really, really um, encourage you guys to go check him out because he is absolutely talented. Like, look at that. He's casting and voice director and he's also played, I think... Um, who, who, um, Royam, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I love the song. <laughs> that's great, that's great. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this final episode of uh, Lost in Random. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing. Look at that! He even played Dicey all of, the, all of Red Mom. And... Um, yeah, that's just... That was just an amazing game, right? So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, vi this video and the other, the whole Let's Play, you can leave a like on this video and <laughs> tell me in the comments why you liked it. Also, consider subscribing because there are a lot of other uh, Let's Plays to come on my channel and I don't want you guys to miss that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Yan, your favorite friendly Frenchman, and I'll see you guys in the next one. A bientôt!